the advent of renal cell carcinoma therapy really started almost 12 years ago um, when we really took advantage of the fact that von Hippolyt now is mutated in majority of clear cell renal cell carcinomas and so targeting that, targeting that veg uh, pathway has sort of been instrumental in advancing our therapy for renal cell carcinoma. Um, and the, initially we had sunitinib, then pazopinib, exinib, these are all different VEGF inhibitors. Um, but we know that patients who receive sunitinib will ultimately progress through that therapy. And one of the things they noted was there are mutations in MET or Axel that sort of drive some of that resistance. So cabozantinib is a multi-targeted um, tyrosokinase inhibitor that goes against VEGF, but as well as MET and Axel. And so clearly given the meteor trial, we know that in patients who are refractory to VEGF therapy, cabozantinib is certainly active. And so in those patients who are in your poor disease, where you're worried that you know, if you don't get a response, they're not going to get to that second line therapy. There's sort of a hope that by doing a car attacking met and axel early on, you may avoid some of those resistant clones and lead to a better response rate. And that was sort of the basis for the Cabo-Sun trial, which showed superior of cabozantin over snitinib in those patients with intermediate and poor risk disease. Toxicity management of any TKI is certainly going to be something that needs to be addressed. Um, Closely. When we look at the um, Cabo Sun data, um, you know, the toxicity profile was relatively comparable between the two, with actually less severe fatigue with Cabo Sun than Sinitinib, um, and less um, marrow complications with Cabo Sun. Um, so I think this is an important thing. You know, if you look at the Cabo Sun data, the starting dose was 60 milligrams, although close to 50% required a dose reduction. Um, so as we pursue this therapy, it's very important to sort of assess the patient on a regular basis and control their side effects, give the medication control those side effects, but also, you know, if need to pursue dose reduction, pursue a dose reduction, pursue it down to 40. And if that isn't able to tolerate, maybe go to 20 or even further tweaks along those lines.